Yo, what up? It's your boy Aries Spears here. <clears throat> you know, a lot of people have been asking me on the Instagram about my thoughts on the Cat Williams situation, and he did mention me, <clears throat> which was a head scratcher because I don't know what I did to him. Uh, and, you know, I was going to save this for my podcast, but I might as well kind of get into it now. And basically, I'm going to repeat the same thing on my podcast. And, you know, again, people ask me what I thought about it. And I'm going to say this. You know, I think it's sad. Uh, it saddens me to know that my people, the people I love, black people, as well as everybody else, but my people come first, black people. We love drama. We love drama. We stew in it. We love it so much that we allow it to be detrimental to the progress of us and a culture. We just, we, we absolutely love it. Um, because I'm asking myself, why did he do something that was both unnecessary and absolutely pointless? Um, and in reading the comments, you know, it, it, it's, it's, I can tell we love drama by the shit we say, you know, um, Protect Cat at all costs. We gotta protect Cat. He the goat. He the goat. Uh, and I want to address both those things. All right. Number one, the goat thing uh, is a useless title. Um, every comedian, every entertainer, and every performer is the goat to their fan base. Steve Harvey, Cedric the Entertainer, are the goats to their fan base. Wanda Sykes, everybody he called out, Ricky Smiley, Kevin Hart, Chris Tucker, they're all goats to their fan base. I get called a goat and a legend all the time. If you think I'm tooting my own horn, look at my comedy clips. Go through the comments. Aries, you a goat. You a legend. While that's flattering, it's a useless title. There can only be one goat, and his name was Richard fucking Pryor. Um... Yeah, I, you know, I remember one of my favorite things to watch was the 30 for 30 with Shaq on ESPN when he was playing for the Orlando Magic. And in his younger days, he goes, you know, when people would ask me whose team is it, when you're in your 20s, you care about shit like that. I had to let people know it was my team. But as I got older, I realized that's a useless title because the ultimate goal was to win a championship. So as far as y'all say who the GOAT is, Cat is your GOAT. I understand that. But you really... That's a useless title. Then you say things like, yo, we got to protect Cat at all costs. Protect him at all costs. Did he cure cancer? Did he cure AIDS? Did he end racism? Did he figure out black poverty? Turn the fucking volume down. Protect Cat at all costs. Knock it off. Keep it in perspective. This is a news cycle. That's all this is. It's a news cycle. This ain't curing cancer. This ain't nothing to protect nobody about. Oh, he he shook up Hollywood. He exposed Hollywood. Ooh, he told the truth. What, what did, again, to me, this is pointless. What did he do? What did he change? He didn't change anything. Steve Harvey is still going to be Steve Harvey. The success, the fame, the money, the momentum, the adulation, the respect, the adoration from the fans is still going to all be there. Same thing with Cedric, same thing with Chris Tucker, same thing with Ludacris, same thing with Wanda Sykes, same thing with me, same thing with Ricky Smiley. Everybody that he named will still go on. Nothing has changed. All right. This wasn't life or world changing. It's a news cycle. And it's funny because this is why I say social media is both a blessing and a curse and dangerous. This phone, this device gives everybody a platform. Everybody gets to be heard, which is power. And everybody don't deserve power. I'm reading some of the comments about Kevin and I'm reading stupid shit like, oh man, Kevin's fan base is turning on him now. Cat done made it so his fan base is turning on him now. Cat ain't, uh, Kevin ain't never been funny. He ain't funnier than Cat. Well, first of all, all of that is subjective. Secondly, the people are saying that Kevin ain't funny or he ain't funnier than Cat were never Kevin Hart fans to begin with. Don't get it twisted. Kevin Hart is a global phenomenon. He's globally famous. He can go anywhere in the world and sell out a whole arena or stadium by himself. The box office movie receipts don't lie. The tickets, the receipts at the ticket gate that you go through when you go to the arena sold out, don't lie. So for all these people that think 
that Cat has turned the world on its axis about Kevin, knock it off. Turn the volume down. Kevin is just fine. And again, those people saying that negative shit about Kevin were never fans to begin with. But you let people tell it, average Joes who now have power because of the phone and the platform. Oh, we must, uh, Cat exposed the Illuminati. We must stop giving our money to these devil worshippers. We must take our power back. What power? You're not that serious. You're not that important. Stay in your lane. And last but not least, here's this. While we're all focusing so hardly on what Cat did, which again, I think was unnecessary and pointless. There's a young, beautiful black actress who we all know and love, who recently has been all over social media, literally in tears because she's not getting the money that her white female counterparts get, Taraji B. Henson. So while we're all focusing on the Cat Williams hype drama news cycle, there's that. So my point is this, instead of Cat using his platform and his mouthpiece and his power and his influence for drama and a news cycle that's gonna be gone when the next hot news cycle comes along, why don't we use our powers and our platform to figure out how we as a community in black Hollywood can come together and amass our own wealth, build our own empire, be like Jeffrey Katzenberg, Michael Eisenberg, uh, and, and Steven Spielberg. I know I'm fucking one of their names up, but form our own dream works. Tyler Perry is cool, but that's all we got. Why don't we figure out how to make it so that we don't have to come to them hat in hand and wait for them to feed us. And then once we make the money that we need to make building our own empire, funnel that money back into our communities and our ghettos and our neighborhoods and our streets so that we could build back up before the Tulsa, Oklahoma City massacre and have our own shit and be well to do. Wouldn't that be a better use of one's power and one's influence and one's mouthpiece than to create a news cycle? Because all Cat did was do what... We as kids would do it, 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 uh, on, on the playground in elementary school or middle school. It was like a rap battle or, or a roast session. Cat said what he said, and my people, black people who I love, who love drama, got a chance to go, Oh, did you hear what he said? Oh, he shook up the game. He exposed Hollywood to Illuminati. Oh, that's all he did. And black people, y'all live for that. Y'all live for that drama. We focused on that when we should be focused on how do we form like the Avengers and really take this motherfucker over. Because we know what we do when we come together and we get our heads right. Let that be the focus and not a temporary news cycle. And you, and you know, I want to add this little tidbit because I know there will be people that will say in the comments, well, you know, what about you, Aries? You've been on social media and have blasted people and have said things before. And it's like, you know what? I have. And there are some things that I've said that I obviously regret. And then there are other things that I've said that I may not necessarily regret. Um, but at the end of the day, I got to grow up. It's about growth. I'm tired of being a 48 year old, 15 year old. I got to grow up. And the last thing is this. You know, I know there are people, and this is what I mean when I say we love drama. There will be people in the comments that will say shit like, Man, y'all don't want that smoke. All the comedians he talked about are all running like roaches with the lights on. They don't want that smoke. First of all, listen, man, we're all professional comedians, which is to say we're all professional shit talkers. We all come from the same streets, whether it's the streets of Detroit, streets of Chicago, L.A., D.C., Philly, New York, Atlanta, Birmingham. We all come from the same streets called struggle, poverty, humble beginnings. And in order for you to overcome that, you gotta be fearless in your heart. Ain't nobody scared of Katie Williams. Ain't nobody scared. Ain't nobody worried about smoke. I'm just saying, let's use our powers for the greater good. I'm here for the smoke. DM me for the link to the Spears and Steinberg podcast. Also, uh, go to our YouTube channel on YouTube under Spearsburg Pod. Hit like and subscribe. Uh, there it is, man. It's your boy, Aries Spears, man. We're going to be talking about this on the podcast. Love y'all.